Good morning and welcome to Morning Moments. I have a special guest today and I'm going to introduce him and he's going to share a little bit how we know each other. And a friend that I've, I've known for a number of years since Indiana days, I'd like to present to you a good friend of mine, Rod Buzzard. Rod, uh, tell everybody how we got to know each other. Well, we have the privilege, Andy, of being pastors in, a, in the same county in Indiana, small little area farming communities. And uh, you were pastoring a church that, where I had been a youth pastor for probably about 18 months. And so we had a lot in common. We were part of the same fellowship. And, and that brought us together, uh, not only in meetings as ministers, but our families getting together from time to time and enjoying each other's company. Thank you. And uh, there's been different chapters in our life since then, both you and <laughs> yeah. I. And it's amazing what God brings us through in the different chapters in our life. And we just have to... Uh, just accept the chapters and the seasons in our life. And, and you're in Florida now, is that correct? Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, you would call me a seasoned uh, minister now. And I think that means well marinated. <laughs> <laughs> and some people would say, I'm over the hill. And uh, I'm just down here in the rotisserie of, uh, of Florida. <laughs> you know, just uh, baking, <laughs> as it were, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But yeah, we're down here in Florida, uh, sharing. I moved here in 2005, so I've been here for about 15 years, and uh, we're, we're doing a lot of things. We're working in prisons, traveling in prisons, really all over the country, and uh, sharing uh, a book that I wrote called Restoring Broken People which is based on the 12 step program, but taking the 12 steps of AA and bringing them back into the Bible. I've got a Bible, you know, here. And, uh, and the Bible is really where those 12 steps came from. And so we have brought those 12 steps back into the Bible and we go in and share with uh, those who are incarcerated. And, you know, the addiction rate uh, of those who are incarcerated is around 82% are addicted to both drugs and alcohol in prison. Not, not before they, they got there, probably were before, but they continue to be in prison. And so we were able to go in through the, with the authorities and just say, uh, look, uh, if they can get past their addiction while they're in here, they have a better chance of not coming back in. Because the, the authorities are real concerned about the recidivism rate. And so we work with that. We also work uh, traveling in churches and uh, reaching out here in our community. Good. Thank you. I, I've also asked if you had a few thoughts uh, that you'd like to share. What, what, what's some thoughts you'd like to share with our group today? Well, I'll do that. You know, it's dangerous to ask a uh, preacher to speak <laughs> because, you know, it's really easy for a preacher to say, I'll talk for three minutes and three hours later, yeah. <laughs> you know, he stops talking. But this is the passage that uh, I've really been thinking about here in the last few days. Psalms 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And, uh, you know, I really got to thinking about this role of shepherd and the fact that Jesus really emphasized his role in his own ministry. The word shepherd is uh, translated into the Greek, the word pastor. So uh, most of the ministers in our churches take that title. They're a pastor. And that, that comes right out of the Bible. This word pastor means a herdsman or a shepherd, but it also can mean the presiding officer or manager or director of a, an assembly or a congregation. And uh, Jesus applied that to himself because he said in John chapter 10, I am the good shepherd who gives his life for the sheep. And he, he said that he, he takes care of his sheep on the basis of a personal relationship, he says, I know my sheep and am known by my own. Uh, 
And what a fantastic thing this is, is he's letting us know, look, I want to be your shepherd. I want to be that person who makes sure that you don't lack, who takes you into green pastures, by the still waters, restores your soul, leads you in paths of righteousness, and, and is with you in the valley of the shadow of death, so you don't have to be afraid, and that you can be comforted by me. And he, he does that on a, in a personal relationship. So 50 years ago, uh, Jesus Christ made himself real to me, and I opened my heart to him, and he became my shepherd. And, uh, and what a wonderful relationship that has been over these years. So he's called, he called himself the good shepherd and said the good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. Uh, in the Psalms, there's three Psalms that represent Jesus as a shepherd. Psalms 22, he's the good shepherd laying down his life for the sheep. Psalms 23, he's the chief shepherd who is taking care of the flock and then Psalms 24, he's the great shepherd who's coming again. And so we see him uh, in this psalm as that chief shepherd wanting to take care of our every need. And, and we, we understand then that he does that not only by having a personal relationship with us, but by calling certain people to become pastors, leaders of congregations, who take on that very role, being an under-shepherd to Jesus Christ. And uh, that he, he wants to provide all of our needs and take care of us uh, and, and do that in every sense of the word, physically, emotionally, socially, spiritually, wants to take care of our every single need by being a shepherd to us and using shepherds and churches to shepherd us. So that's kind of what I've been thinking about. Wow. Great word. Great perspective of how God uses different people in different chapters and different times of our lives. And uh, I think, I think back of uh, at, at one time when I was a shepherd and that was my role. Uh, but there's, mm -hmm. again, God, God uses us in different times and we were getting caught up before we, we did this session and I was telling, telling you where I've gone since mm -hmm leave you know being a pastor and now becoming a nurse and how it's just amazing what uh, god has in store for us and i still i truly believe the best is yet to come i believe that too and uh, god's got a plan for our life i want to thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule and uh, being my my guest today and uh, I, I thank you and and how do they get a hold of that book that you were talking about where can they purchase it oh real easy just go to rodbuzzard.com and we have a website set up. They'd like to order it. We'd be glad to send it to them. All we ask is an offering and we send it right out to you. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, take care, my friend. And uh, uh, I'll be looking forward to hearing from, from, from you more in the future. God bless you. Thank you, Andy. Good thank to see you. you. And thank you all for joining me here on Morning Moments. <laughs>